We've looked at the filter in the Essentials course. So if you watch that, you already know that you can click on the name of the filter and you can change out the filter type. But you can also click over here and swap out the entire module. We have a few different options here. Let's check out the Foreman filter. So a Foreman filter basically creates those vowely type sounds. Let's have a listen to it. I'll take the pulse out of this oscillator and plug it into the input on the filter and take the output and plug that to the VCA in. I've already set up a sequence on the step sequencer, lane one specifically. It's running at a moderately fast rate and that's gonna control the pitch of our oscillator. So this is the Foreman sound. It's basically a bunch of different bandpass filters in series. So that's the first, second, third and fourth filter. You also get these preset settings for the filter that will mimic certain vowels. So you get all the different vowels there. Now when you choose a particular vowel preset, the dials on the filter will not update to show the current settings of that preset. But it definitely is changing it. Let's test this. Let's look at mod 4 over here. So if I just touch any of these parameters, so it didn't change much there, but let's try mod 3. And now you can hear it sounds a bit different. Let's try mod 2. So that's a very drastic change there. And the reason this is happening is because the preset probably has these parameters set to a different value. So let's try this. I'll move this parameter all the way down. So it sounds kind of thin. And let's switch out that preset and go back to A. It sounds nice and bright. Now, as soon as I touch that parameter, you can hear it snapping to this new value which is not what the preset has it set at. Now ideally it would be perfect if the parameters update when you change the vowel preset, but it doesn't, so just be aware of that. All right, now let's talk about the actual parameters. So the first one is your filter frequency control. The next one is resonance. And the last one is gain. And all the four sets are identical. You also get CV modulation inputs for all the three parameters and a modulation in to control the global frequency cutoff. Let's get some modulation going. I'll take the sine wave LFO and plug it into the frequency on the mod 2. I'll take the sawtooth from that same LFO and plug it into the mod 4, frequency cutoff that is. Let's make use of some of the step sequencer outputs. Let's plug that to mod 1, frequency cutoff. Let's take column 2 to modulate the frequency on mod 3. I haven't made any changes on column 2, so let me quickly just change up those control voltage values. Let's take column 3 to modulate the resonance on mod 3 here. We can globally modulate the resulting vowel by plugging in a control voltage signal in here. On this other LFO, let's take the triangle out and use that to modulate that vowel. 
Now you can hear it's very dramatic. So for a more subtle change, you may want to modulate the individual mod 1, mod 2, mod 3 and mod 4 parameters. But for this very dramatic kind of a change, go for that global modulation input. So that's the Foreman filter.